Hello and welcome to video two of chapter 13. Don't forget to take the notes and submit them when we're done. All right, so we're left off at the SDN, the Software Divine Networking. So what is, sorry, what is the Software Design Networking? So um, there are two device that contains the following planes. Let's talk about the control and the data planes. You have the control plane in the old day uh, when, with the uh, with the devices such as your routers and switches and the data plane. So please write these down. The control plane is typically regarded as the brain of your device and it is used to make the forwarding decisions. Um, this is where you have your routing protocols, your topology tables, IPv4, uh, uh, ST, uh, routing tables, STP, uh, and, and so on. The data plane, on the other hand, is the forwarding plane. This is the one that uh, typically is used, the switch fabric, connecting the various network ports on your device. All right? So what SDN does is it really controls both of them together. So the control plane and the data planes, the CEF is an advanced layer 3 IP uh, layer 3 IP switching technology that enables forwarding packets to occur at the data plane without consulting the control plane at all. The computer, no, remember we do this through the control plane. We have to do all of our configuration and then the data plane will use the configuration uh, to forward the data. Now we can actually go directly to data and it forwards the data immediately into the control plane. So. <clears throat> into the data plane, I'm sorry. Now, we have something called the management. So the management plane is the one that's responsible for managing a device through its connection to the network. Okay, like we did, remember the management VLAN when we did that a while back. Uh, so how do we access the device? There, is, You know, we use SSH, FTP, TFTP sometimes, HTTPS go in and to manage the device. So that's what the management management plane is. So please write that down. It is the responsibility for managing the device through its connection to the network. All right, now we can get into the network virtualization technology. Two major network architectures that have been developed, all right, to access the clouds. There is the software divine networking, SDN. So please write that down. That's a network architecture that virtualizes the network, offering new approaches to network administration and management that seeks simplicity, streamlining the administration process. This is that means you can have a network, you can access the network through a software, and you, you know, and you don't even see the actual, it's virtual because you don't see the hardware. You'll be given switches, routers, servers, everything, and you can using this. SDN, and you'll be able to control all of that and configure it as if you had the hardware yourself. Uh, and the other one is the Cisco application-centric inf infrastructure. That's the ACI. This is pretty much the same thing as the, the SDN. Okay, that's uh, so it is a purpose-built hardware solution for integrating cloud computing and data centers management. All right. Uh, the component of the SDN will include, please write the following down. This is there's the open flow. This is the protocols that allow you to communicate between the hardware and the management, OpenStack and the and other components. So just write those three bullet points down for SDN components. And uh, here's where you have the old traditional, you have the control plane, and the data plane. But now the control plane with the ISDN controller, you can control all the different devices at once through software. And OpenFlow is the software that allows you to jump from one device to another, get the data plane and be able to configure it. So you'll be able to configure a switch, a router, or another switch using the OpenFlow configuration, using one software, over uh, the cloud, right? So that's really nice. So you can have all of your devices controlled remotely. 
All right, so um, so that's that. Um, the SDN controller is a logical entity that enables the network administrator to manage and dictate how the data plane of switches and routers should be handled. So please write that down, that first statement. That is what the um, SDN, the control, SDN controller does for us. All right, let's talk about the different types of controllers that are out there. Um, there is the SDN controller defines the data flow between the centralized control plane and the data planes on individual routers and switches. Okay, so please write these four, uh, three digit, I'm sorry, three bullet points down. Okay, so, <clears throat> so you have the open flow switch. You can actually have, here's the SDN controller, and all of that can be done again remotely all right um within each switch you have a series of tables on each switch you have the flow table the group table and the and the meter table and the flow table is where you have the match incoming packets to a particular flow and specifies the functions that are to be performed on the packets there may be multiple flow tables that operate in a pipeline fashion. So you then you'll have the group table, and then you have the, um, of course, media ta uh, meter table. All right, so pl please write these down as well. All right, there's a good video in the um, in the book, in the online book at the Cisco Netiquette. I highly recommend, again, let me repeat, these videos, the chapter 13 and 14 are important because they, they actually have, um, in video format instead of written down and they'll have good illustration as well. All right, so um, anyway, write this down by the way, the last bullet points, this is gonna explain the Cisco ACI is a hardware solution for integrating cloud computing and data center management. Just in case you ever get that on the, most likely you'll probably get it on the, on the, on the, um, on the um, exam as well. On the exam usually we'll see uh, now there are three core components of the aci you got the application network profile application policy infrastructure controller and the nixus 9000 series switches um the cisco aci we will talk about that these are the three hard components and each one of those is a collection of end-to-end -end I'm sorry, the, the network, uh, the application network profile, AMP, is a collection of endpoint groups and their connections and their policies that define these connections as well. All right. Um, there's where your Cisco APEC falls into place between the core components of the actual switches and the controller itself. And you may have the spine leaf topology for your um, SDN. Instead of, remember, we talked about the core distribution and the access layer. Now we have the spine and the leaf, just a different terminology. It's, you may think of it as the core distribution as the spine, and the leaf is like the access layer, right? And this is, the, uh, this is where you control all of these devices. The APAC, right? All right, so you got one PK is, you know, there is types of SDNs. There is the first device, the first type. So please write the following down. There is the device based SDN where devices are programmable by applications running on a device itself on the server in the network. Right, so you have an application and you can program all of these. Of course, OpenFlow is the protocol that allows you to get there. Then you have the controller base, SDN, that does all the controllers where you do your configuration. And then you have the um, policy based. So you can actually do a policy and the controller will look at the policy and configure all of your devices. 
So write those three points down. You may use a graphical instead of uh, typing the commands. So Cisco APAC EMM provides a single interface for the management. So please write these bullet points down. Asking you to write them down because there's a good chance when you are taking an exam, either the CCNA or your or your the exams that you are taking in class, uh, these questions will come up. All right, and uh, that's it for chapter 13. A lot of in information. Um, there's not a lot of hands-on, but information that is um, needed to know, with, especially when it comes to exams. All right, so uh, write the notes that I asked you to, and I'll see you in uh, chapter 14.